the war was coming to an end. To help restore the war torn country, thousands of volunteers were coming from every region, even the distant ones. Engineers by profession and heroes by nature, these four were determined to help rebuild like everyone else. Sometimes in life, things don't go according to plan. They missed the train. Or maybe it was fate that pulled the cruel joke. Their commander, Tchertyakin, tough and demanding. Rumors about him circulated in the army. The devil, they called him. He had character, yet his subordinates were always successful and came back alive. They made their decision. They were to proceed on foot. The weather was beautiful and calm for a winter. The sun was shining, the birds were chirping. A nice, no, 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 wait, that's wrong. This is an old version of the script. Here, a terrible snowstorm hit. The wind blew the engineers off the trail and they were lost instantly. But the stories about Zerjakin and the picture in his breast pocket gave them motivation and strength to move forward. The length of our intro doesn't allow our heroes to wander for a long time, so luckily, they stumbled upon a cabin. Once inside, the volunteers found themselves in a modest workshop. Machines, wagons, some strange devices. But a cursory glance attracted other things. A book. Wait. A book? More like a personal diary. Just as the fellows were about to study it, voices and noises were heard outside. Germans? Remnants of the Wehrmacht. They were sneaking around in the rear of the shifting front, and the heroes were in danger of meeting them face to face. They had to hurry. What they managed to read paints a strange picture. The author described unknown devices, gates, a place called Void. According to the notes, not only had he been there, but also the Nazis. Time was running out. The engineers understood that their only option was to go to the Void, following the instructions from the diary, done as instructed. Let's go. But on what? Please, love and respect on this one. Normally, sane people would have gone out for help, prepared themselves, and certainly wouldn't have thought about going to another world in a, 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 a trolley. But enemies are about to start banging on the door, so... After making hasty preparations for departure, they... Uh, anyway, I'm talking too much. It's just a story I once heard from a stranger who in turn heard it from another stranger and he, oh, what can be invented for a good story? What is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel with me Mrs. Z1. We are playing some Void Train today. I am so excited. So I've been editing my husband Z1 Gaming's videos uh, over this game and been watching him play and it just looks so fun. I'm so excited to start our own series over here. Um, we are also going to be going over to his channel and occasionally helping him with his save so if you are interested in seeing that, make sure you go check out his channel. I will have a link down below in the description and uh, make sure you're watching out for those Void Train videos that I make an appearance in to uh, help him out. But we're going to go ahead and start our own series and uh, we might even have him over here to come help us occasionally. Okay. Lock the door. <laughs> I don't think that's really going to lock it. Um, okay, let's see. 
Jump with space, crouch with control, sprint with shift, and E to interact. I don't know what that button did. Oh, it made the train move. How cool is that? That's going to be us pretty soon. Oh, that's so cool. Um, let's see. Is there anything we need to grab here? Let's take a look around. Okay, I just picked up something. Set the handle on the trolley. Okay, so we picked up a handle. Let's go ahead and put it on. Look at that. Turn on the gate. How do we turn on the gate? Oh, over here. Oh, look at that. We're powering it up. Go to the other world. Jonas, let me try. Jonas, door open the other way, you idiot. Cute little guy. Okay, it looks like there's a bunch of stuff just floating around everywhere. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Okay. Let's see. I think we jump off. Hold F to go back to the train. Let's grab this stuff. What is this? A scrap metal. Scrap metal. And I saw some stuff over here. What are you? Scrap metal. Okay, I don't really see anything else right now. What does this do? Oh, it's a whore now, cute. Okay, I'm guessing we hit the brake to continue going. And so the journey into the in-between begins. Oh, we're going this way. Our heroes are about to start their adventure. Wait, 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 forward, not backwards. Oh goodness, just use this transmission thingy. Uh, oh, we're going the wrong way. Yeah, I thought we were. Okay, this way. Yes. Good, good. Okay, now our heroes are definitely about to begin their adventure through the many dangers that lie ahead. Oh, so much excitement awaits. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay, we need to make okay, sure we're stopping no, for everything. This is not good. At this rate, we'll never finish this story. I don't want to be that guy, but maybe we should hurry a little bit. Okay, we're not going quick enough. Oh, so we can't go backwards. Okay. Continuing on. Now, I do know there's like void sharks in here, so I'm really hoping we don't see one. I don't think we see one this early in the game, so I think we'll be okay. But I do know we're gonna have to grab as much stuff as we can. Okay, I definitely hear something. Also, if you guys are interested in picking up this game, I will have a link down below. I believe it is only available over on the Epic Game Store right now. 
but I do believe it is on sale right now. I think it is 10% off. So if you do end up going over to the Epic Game Store, make sure you are using creator code Mrs. Z1. And that will just give me a little bit of a kickback for showing you the game, help support the channel, and it's very much appreciated. Oh no, oh no. I tried to stop, I thought I stopped the train, but I did not stop the train. Okay, we are missing so much stuff. Oh, we need to speed up the trolley with the trolley handle. Yes, I expected no less from you. Full ahead. Allons-y. Oh, I, I touched one, and I think I might have killed it. Oh, no. We're passing a bunch of stuff. Okay, we're collecting wood and scrap metal. It looks like we don't have enough wood. Um, that looks like another wood piece right there. Let's see. Yes, we did it. Okay, tutorial building. Press T to open the build book. Select the desired object and build it. If you have no resources, it will build a project that you can finish after gathering the necessary materials. Most objects require a floor or walls if it's a wall object to build. Okay, let's see. Okay, we probably need a research table, I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's what it's telling us. Maybe we're supposed to build... Are we supposed to build a floor? No, I'm guessing it's gonna be the research table because that's exactly what it requires. Hmm, are we gonna be able to move things later on? <laughs> I hope so. Okay. We have a research table right here. Let's interact with that. Select a blueprint. <gasps> container. Yes, we need a container. Um, research. Phase one. How do we do this? Requirements. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we can't do that one until we get this one. We need some more. What is that? Scrap metal? Research the technology of Smelter 1. Yes, I think that was scrap metal, and we don't have any more of that, so we need to continue on. It looks like it's, like, building the track in front of us as we go past. <laughs> That's not scary at all, you know? Okay, I see a couple more scrap metal. Let's go ahead, stop on off right here. I think we needed four, so even after these two, we're gonna need. Can we pick them up? Pick up. No, I don't think we can pick them up. Let's see, okay, I think we still need one more scrap metal before we can research the smelter. And I'm assuming we're going to need more scrap metal in order to make those ingots. So let's make sure we're grabbing as much as we can. I thought you were supposed to pet those guys and they gave you something. Maybe we're not far enough in the game for it to give us it. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know. You know what? I could just grab stuff as the train is moving. Didn't even think about that, but that would work. It'll work until it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> until the train starts uh, going faster than we are, I guess. Okay, I think we have enough stuff. Let's go ahead and research the smelter. Now we need to make the smelter before we can research the uh, chest, container, whatever the heck that is. They make weird sounds when you touch them, though. Um, okay, let's see. Let's make us a smelter. Wait, did it say we didn't have enough stuff? What are we missing for the smelter? More scrap metal. 
Oh my gosh, we need all the scrap metal. Okay, we have enough now. Let's go ahead and make that guy. Okay, create. We want to make... I think we need an iron bar. Oh, we can make copper too. Okay, so we're gonna have to put fuel in there and we're gonna need more scrap metal for everything. So let's continue on trying to find the, all the scrap metal. And it also said we're gonna need fuel, so probably should grab as much wood as I can as well. Okay, I just tried to pick something else up and it said that we had no space. So we need to start doing some stuff. We need to go ahead and create um, iron bar. Let's make, we need to make at least two of those, I believe. And we need to add some fuel. Let's go ahead and add that. Okay, apparently we can only make four. We can only use four at a time. Let's go ahead and create that. And let's see, what did we need for this? Okay, we need two of those bars. We have enough wood. Oh, there's our bar pickup. Okay, let's take a look at our inventory. Okay, we are pretty full. We need to start making those containers. Okay, now we should be able to research this guy. Sweet. Now, oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and see real quick what we need for the container. Okay, so we're going to need some more iron bars in order to make that. Let's... We don't have enough to make that? Okay, I guess we'll make a copper bar. Because, I mean, I guess we're probably going to need that later on. Let's see, what's the next thing we can research? A workbench one and a basic components one and copper components okay so we're gonna need a copper we're gonna need three of those copper bars for that we're gonna need um, six more iron bars okay we need to get going for sure okay let's grab no i thought i saw it right over here scrap metal we are going to need lots and lots of scrap metal because we need to make so much iron. And I don't see any more scrap metal over here. Oh, wait, what is that? Is that wood? That is wood. We will take that. So what I've been doing this whole entire time is I've kind of just been floating as the trolley has been going. Uh, because the trolley goes pretty slow. Okay, I think we have enough to make at least two of these bars, which will be great because we'll actually be able to make a container now. There's only one problem. I can't even pick it up because we don't have enough space. <laughs> oh, no. This is not good. Not good at all. Okay, I guess we're going to just continue on until we find another scrap and then we'll make that into a bar and then I'll put that put those bars into our inventory and then we'll be able to make a container and then hopefully things will go a little bit better from then on. Okay, we did good. We did it. Okay, now I have these. Let's go ahead and build that container. Uh, also, we can build a wooden floor construction mode. Uh, maybe I can't build another wooden floor here. Okay. But we can build a container. Let's build a container. Um. We will just go ahead and place that guy right there. Let's open that up. And we can put in... Hmm. I guess we'll put in this because we're going to have to be saving up to make some more copper bars. And probably could put in this dry ice because that looks like it's like that stack is full. I guess we can have five in each stack. Can we really not use these inventory slots? What? What? Only three inventory slots? What the heck? Okay. That sucks. Okay, let's continue on. We need to make some more iron bars. Let's, so let's go ahead and uh, we're going to have to find some.
find some more scrap metal. I'm not really sure what we're going to do with the dry ice and that organic and stuff. So I'm going to just kind of hold off on getting that for right now. Okay, I think I made enough copper bars. Yes, I did. So we can go ahead and research this workbench one. And then we can start working on basic components one. We're going to need some more iron bars for that. Okay, let's continue going. We need more scrap metal. Oh my gosh, I see a whole bunch of scrap metal right there. Oh, that was a good find. Okay, so I did make a couple more copper bars. So I do think we are actually able to make the copper components. Uh, let's grab this one out of here. And we'll go ahead and research this guy. And then all we need is some more iron ore. And then we can research the uh, basic components one, I believe. But in order to do that, we're going to need another four scrap metal. Wait. I have three right now. Let's go ahead and start making one right now. Uh, got a little framey, a little laggy right there. And we have enough. Let's go ahead and research that. Yes. Okay, we still need more scrap because, you know, we're going to need to get other stuff. Okay, so we have a lab. We have chemical components and basic components too. But it looks like we're going to need to make that workbench in order to make some of those. Because it looks like we needed some, like, nuts and some other things that I have not seen before. I see chains in the distance and I see something. Oh, this is looking scary, guys. Oh, I see the end of the portal. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Oh my gosh. Hold on, we just passed. Oh, I just saw we just passed scrap metal. Can I reach this? Oh no. No, I can't reach it. We just passed it just barely. It's fine. Let's just continue on. Let's finish. Let's get to the portal. See what we can do from there. We'll slow down, maybe not go as fast. Scrap metal. Oh, there's some right there. Break. There's lots of good stuff here. The music started getting uh, very epic sounding. Okay, let's go. Full steam ahead. Let's go! Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. for some time now our heroes are trying to understand where they are and who could possibly build such wonders upon further inspecting the platform it becomes obvious to them that someone used to live here an idea occurs to our brave adventurers investigating the abandoned depot okay it looks like we need to head over to that symbol we can do that 
We just can't do it from that way. <laughs> noises in here. Okay. Oh, <gasps> we found a gun. Somebody has been in good graces with the goddess of luck. A weak secondary weapon with an infinite amount of ammo. It is enough to deal with the initial enemies. The revolver can be upgraded with modules picked up from the enemy through the armory when you research and build it. Okay, cool. Oh, this is so cool. But you know what happens when they give you a weapon in the game? That means <laughs> there's gonna be bad things here. Okay, I think it wants us to continue on. But that's actually going to end it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for coming out and watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. If you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing as well. If you have any tips or tricks for me, please leave them down in the comments below. If you guys are interested in purchasing this game for yourself, once again, I will have a link down below. It is available over on the Epic Game Store. If you do end up purchasing it or if you end up purchasing anything else on the Epic Game Store, make sure you make sure you use creator code Mrs. Period Z1 to help support the channel and it is very much appreciated. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye, everybody.